Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing a facial self tanner, as you can tell by my robe. And today's facial self tanner is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Facial Self Tanning Drops. So super excited about that. I really, really like L'Oreal for like makeup products. So I was really excited when I saw that this was a self tanner. Of course I had to try it. So we're just going to be reading up on it, talking about it, all that good stuff. Before we do, make sure to give this a big thumbs up for me and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you love self tanners, makeup, anything like that, then you definitely want to make sure that you're subscribed. But if you want to see my review of the L'Oreal Facial Self Tanning Drops, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys, before we get into talking about it, I just want to point out, I'm sure you guys are already noticing, my eyes are kind of red and puffy and like this side of my face is like broken out in hives. Well, I recently discovered that I'm allergic to dogs, literally my favorite thing in the world. And every time I'm around a dog now or if someone else is around a dog and then is around me, I get like a reaction. Like my eyes get all red and itchy and puffy and then every once in a while I'll break out in hives. And that is what's happening right now. So I apologize. That is why my eyes are all red and crazy looking, but it should subside in hopefully the next couple minutes or so. We'll see. But yeah, just ignore it for the rest of the video. I'm going to try to too. Anyways, so I have this pulled up on Target. So this self tanner, the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Facial Drops, go for $13.99 so really not that bad in price if you ask me definitely one of the more affordable self tanning drops that i've seen so on the website here it just says boost your glow for a natural looking tan new sublime bronze self tanning facial drops our first fragrance free self tanning product made specifically for face for all skin types. What's new? Ready to be a glow getter and add some color to your favorite skincare routine? Gradually build your desired facial tan drop by drop. Apply daily until you love your glow. Sublime facial drops are non-sticky and mixed with your moisturizer for a comfortable, customizable application. The serum is free from added fragrance, parabens, and dye. Perfect for skincare junkies, Sublime Facial drops are formulated with hyaluronic acid, a potent hydration attracting molecule for adding moisturizing feel. And then basically it just says for a lighter sun-kissed glow, add five to seven drops to a dime-sized amount of moisturizer. And then for a deeper glow, add eight to 10 drops. Reapply daily until you love your skin's glow. And that's basically all it says on the website. And then here it says that it's dermatologist tested. It says it's quick drying, streak free, transfer proof, and it's good for all skin types. No fragrance, non-sticky, dye free. And then again, just add five to 10 drops depending on how much you want on there. And it says to keep it on for six to eight hours. I'm gonna keep it on, of course, overnight because that's what we do every time. And I know since this one says it's a gradual tan, I'm not gonna be expecting a miracle. I'm not gonna be expecting it to be as dark as some of the other ones I've tried. I know that's probably not gonna be what this is, but I'm still hoping for the best. Here is what the actual bottle looks like. I think it looks so cute and it definitely looks high end, I would say. Like it's a glass bottle, feels pretty expensive and just looks like something that I would want to keep front and center on my vanity, if that makes sense. So this dropper even looks luxurious. Look at this, super fancy. This one doesn't have that ring thing that all of the other ones I've been trying lately have had, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I just like that little feature, but that's okay. And this is clear. So I actually really like this dropper because it's so tiny. Look at this, you guys but it gives you like the perfect amount of a drop. So, so far A plus for packaging. I think it's really, really adorable. I'm just using my Dermalogica moisturizer that I always use. And I'm gonna do, like they said, a little dime sized amount. Would you consider that a dime? I don't know. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry if my eyes look creepy, just please. Ignore it. <laughs> and then I'm doing 10 drops, so here we go. 
All right, here we go. Let's get started on applying. Okay guys, so it has just been freshly applied. I do have to say there is no smell, so I really, really like that about it. This, when I was blending it in with my moisturizer, it literally blended together with the moisturizer like butter. It was so easy to combine the two, which I really also liked because it sped up the process. And then just applying on my face, it felt really nice and hydrating to put on my skin. So everything about it so far has been really, really enjoyable. It dries down pretty quick, I would say. Like, I just put this on like 30 seconds ago and it already feels like it's pretty dry. Like, I don't know how well you guys could see this, but it's like really not sticking to my face or my fingers, I mean at all like it feels like it's drying down really quickly so that i really really do like as well so so far just everything about this is really nice i did do the full 10 drops because i wanted to get the maximum result that i could possibly get and then tomorrow of course we'll see what the final result is so as usual i am going to sleep on this self tanner and then tomorrow when i wake up i'm going to wash it off and then we will see what the final result is. If I think it's dark enough, if I think you need to keep doing it gradually to get the color that you want, all that good stuff. So I will give you guys all of the juicy details tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep on this now and then I will be back tomorrow to update you guys on everything. So I will see you tomorrow. All right guys, I'm back. It is the next day and so I have some thoughts on the self tanner. So I first want to start off by saying I I feel like it didn't really give me much color and I know this one is supposed to be a gradual tan so I know just from going into this video I knew that it wasn't going to be like a crazy difference like how some of the other ones have gotten me but I was also expecting just a little bit more out of this one because I did the full amount of drops. I think it was 10 drops. So that was supposed to get me like the darkest that it would from one use. And I feel like it didn't really give me much of anything. So it just makes me wonder how like the lighter one would look like if I did less drops. So that just made me a little bit curious because again, I know it's supposed to be gradual. I know it's not gonna get me crazy dark in one go. But I also was expecting just a little bit more color because it claims that this was going to get me quote unquote dark for the gradual tan. So I feel like I didn't really get much color. Let me know if you guys see it. But for me personally, I'm kind of like I could have used a little more color to be totally honest. Another thing I want to point out. So when I woke up this morning, I did, of course, my regular body self tanner and I did this on my body. I have the Bali Body uh, Express self tanner. I actually slept with it on because I really like how it looks when you sleep with that self tanner on. So I kept that one on overnight and then I had the L'Oreal on my face throughout the night. When I woke up this morning, my body looked really nice and golden and just tan and then when i saw my face in the mirror i was like wow it kind of gave me like this red tint like my face looked more red than usual not like bright red like i have a sunburn or anything like that but it had this weird pinky red kind of look to it like i could see the difference when i woke up this morning but it was like a weird not really like a tan color but it was like this like pinky red kind of thing it was really really weird and all day i've kind of been looking at myself in the mirror and i'm like i just have this strange undertone to my face right now compared to the rest of my body like i feel like this really leans toward the red pink undertone kind of side and it's almost a little bit too much for my liking. Like I like more of a golden bronze, like a just walked off the beach kind of tan. And this isn't really giving that to me, but I did really like how clean and mess free this was. Like so easy to apply, not sticky at all. My face is not streaky whatsoever. Like from what I can see, everything went on really smooth and even. And my face is all just like one color. Like I don't see 
an excess of color in one spot and then none in another spot. So I do really like that about it. I also love that it doesn't have a smell to it. So that was really, really nice. But I'm just kind of like, I have an in the middle kind of feeling about it. Like I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's not the worst, but it's for sure not the best. Would I use it again? Maybe if I ran out of a lot of other ones, but it's definitely not like up there for my first choices of what I would grab when I'm not testing out a new one. If you know what I mean, like this one didn't really leave like a great impression for me. If you guys like something that's very, 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 very subtle, maybe you will like this. Again, I'm kind of like torn. Like I feel like some of you would like this because it is subtle. It looks pretty natural and it's not expensive, but then at the same time, I definitely feel like there are natural looking self tanners for the face that are more worth your money than this one. So I don't wanna say that I don't like it cause that's not true, but I do think there are better ones out there. So that's what I got out of this. That is it though. I think I mentioned everything that I wanted to about it. If I'm forgetting anything, comment, ask me, and I will let you guys know if I have an answer for you. So comment, also just say hello, because again, I just love you guys. Give this a big thumbs up if you haven't already, and please subscribe to my channel. I post three times a week, so you do not want to miss out on that, and it's all about makeup and tanning. So you don't want to miss that either. <laughs> so subscribe, stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next video.